So the last thing that I want to show you is uh, how you can do, because we've been talking a lot about uh, how to communicate, like make actors communicate to each other, sending messages uh, through different things and receiving messages. So one of the things that I, uh, I'd like to mention in the, in the end are, are things that are called event dispatchers. So event dispatchers are another way of uh, just kind of communicating data and allowing or communicating events. Uh, so basically what they do is that they, uh, they allow you to listen to events on other things uh, so that uh, so that you can react to them. So it's maybe a little bit the, the other way around uh, than we've been doing uh, before. So I'm gonna make a small change to the way that this works. Uh, uh, here I'm gonna go into the third person character again and we used to make it so that uh, whenever we uh, click something we called do the jump uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do uh, a new event and I'm gonna call it uh, destroy the bouncing ball uh, so the goal here is, uh, and just to do the uh, do the logic, uh, I'm going to call destroy actor. So this is going to do what this is going to do is, uh, and instead of calling do the jump here on the uh, on the bouncing, I'm going to call destroy uh, not destroy actor, but I'm going to just destroy the bouncing ball. So uh, now when we play, whenever I click something, uh, it's going to get destroyed uh, from the world. Okay. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So now we have uh, something similar to uh, like it's uh, it could be a game. Uh, let's go into the bouncing ball here. But what we want to do before we destroy the actor, uh, we want to maybe notify uh, anyone. Uh, it doesn't really matter who it is. We want to notify. We're going to send out a message saying I am being destroyed, so that other uh, kind of other actors and other things can actually react to it. So here on the left, I'm going to do uh, an event dispatcher, and I'm going to call it on. Uh, I was asked to be destroyed uh, and I'm going to drag it in here and I'm going to call it so you can see that this little uh, letter here uh, this means that this is just a message we don't know if anyone is listening to the message or anything like that this is just kind of a courtesy thing from this actor saying all right so here is something that's happening to me that someone else might be interested in uh, so uh, so yeah, basically uh, what happens now is that nothing is going to change. Uh, the actors here are being uh, kind of destroyed one by one. So uh, the question is then how do we use these, uh, these event dispatchers? And this is where uh, things are going to get a little bit complicated. Uh, and this is something that took me a lot of time to figure out. So uh, if you uh, if you can follow along with this and if you get this, uh, you're reaching a, a pretty high level of blueprint programming. So in the bouncing ball blueprint, uh, what I'm going to do is on begin play, uh, on begin play, I'm going to say uh, get all actors of class here. I'm going to get the uh, BP underscore bouncing ball. So each instance of the bouncing ball blueprint is going to fetch all of the other ones. Uh, I'm going to loop through, I'm going to see if I can bind on a script. Yeah. Okay, so I can actually I can actually do it like this. So uh, this is a uh, this is kind of nice. I can do this with the uh, with the array. So I want to know uh, I want to know each one of the bouncing balls wants to know if any other bouncing ball got destroyed. Uh, and this is uh, is a little little hard to wrap your head around. So I'm gonna say someone was destroyed. All right, so. If I uh, if I go ahead and I print this here, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to do get self. Uh, this is going to be a reference here to the blueprint that we're in. And I'm going to do get display name. So I'm going to get my name here. And I'm going to say, uh, let's do a couple of, uh, and this is probably the most advanced thing uh, that we're doing. I'm going to do format text. So. I'm going to say I am, and then I do the curly braces, and I'm going to say me, just noticed that someone got 
destroyed. And I'm going to plug this into me and then I'm going to plug this here. So uh, basically what's going to happen now that whenever anything is destroyed from the world, uh, anyone who has has this event bound is going to let, uh, is going to get notified. So if I press here and I click here, you can see that as uh, to open up the lock here, I am the, fir the first ball. Uh, uh, I am the first ball five. And I just know that someone got destroyed. So you can see that every single ball uh, that we have is saying that, oh, I just realized that someone else got destroyed. I don't know who got destroyed, but I just know that there is an event that happened and I'm listening for this event. So each one of these is printing the message and they're saying someone got destroyed. So what we can do now is we can go into the bouncing ball here and we can go into the event and we can add an input to the event the input is going to be bp bouncing ball and i'm just going to call it who and now i have to go in and refresh this here uh okay so now you can see that uh when we are destroyed and you can see that this, this can be really confusing because we're working in the same blueprint so here we're saying that if someone calls destroy the bouncing ball it calls this event and it needs to know uh who who was destroyed so i'm gonna do self because uh in reference to self so if someone asks this ball to be destroyed, it's going to say, okay, I'm going to broadcast this event. I'm going to dispatch an event into the world. I'm going to say I got destroyed and then I'm going to say, uh, and then I'm going to be destroyed. Okay. So, uh, so now we have, uh, and then here on begin play, we were also saying, I am interested in all of the bouncing balls in the world. I'm interested in knowing if, if one of them was destroyed and, um, uh, and yeah, and then I get a message here saying who was destroyed. So I'm going to expand this here. I'm going to say instead of saying someone, I'm going to change this into uh, who. And I'm going to say I am here. And I just noticed that who got destroyed. So who get this play name. And this gets plugged into here. So now that we play. Uh, I'm just gonna clear this. You should be able to see that when I click this one here, every single ball. I am the first ball five, the second ball, first ball. Like these are just the names of the balls here. They're called first ball and second ball because we duplicated them earlier. And I noticed that the second ball five just got destroyed. All of them are getting a message that the second ball five just got destroyed. Even uh, the second ball five. It under it gets a message saying I just got destroyed uh, and here's something that we can do with this we can say that if not equals if who is not equals myself because we don't want to uh to do anything on myself we can say uh, get self uh, we don't have to do that we can, we're gonna do get uh we're gonna do set scale set actor scale to get actor scale 3d we're going to multiply this by let's say yeah this is fine multiply this by 0 0.90 so we're going to say set the scale to 90 percent of what you are and now we have we have some cool blueprint logic now i may have to uh, open up some new blueprint area real estate here okay so what's happening now is that any time that the bouncing ball gets a message saying that someone uh, got destroyed we're gonna lower uh, we're gonna reduce the scale of it uh to 90 percent of the scale that it was before okay uh and then we're gonna print the message here and then we do uh do jump do the jump we do uh we may we get a little bit smaller and then we do a jump for our destroyed uh brethren okay so here once we click this all of the balls jump and all of the balls get a little bit smaller uh, each time. And you can actually see that they're jumping higher each time because their mass is getting smaller and smaller and smaller uh, with the size. Uh, 
So now, uh, now we've basically set up the most, uh, one of the more simple, uh, well, uh, not necessarily simple, but we set up an event dispatcher where uh, all of the balls actually keep track of all of the other balls uh, and they can react for uh, react to a message for when I click it, you can see that uh, uh, they do something. So, uh, so yeah, this was the, this is an intro to the, uh, uh, to the event dispatchers and uh, how you can communicate with actors between those.